I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, "Be careful with that one, love." He will do what it takes to survive. You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line. For some kind of sign, and when you were mine, the world seemed to burn. burn. You have torn it all apart. I'm watching. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Eliza, I put myself back in the narrative. Stop wasting time on tears. I live another fifty years. It's not enough. I interview every soldier who fought by your side. She tells our story. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write. I'm running out of time. I rely on Angelica. While she's alive, we tell your story. She is buried. Trinity Church near you. When I needed her most, she was right on time. And I'm still not through. I ask myself, what would you do if you had more time? The Lord, in His kindness, He gives me what you always wanted. He gives me more time. I raise funds in D.C. for the Washington Monument. She tells my story. I speak out against slavery. Could have done so much more if you only had time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell your story? Oh, I can't wait to see you again. It's only a matter of time. Tell your story.